usually a race to get in bed. Do you ever try and... Get him off? Yes. Yeah. Come on, Harley. Come on. Oh. So that's what he usually does when you try and get him off. OK. So this is what we deal with. Yeah. Does he sleep with you? We don't have a choice. There's He, he owns it. It all started because the first night he came home, I begged him, please don't let the dog on the bed. So what does he do? Oh, let's just let him sleep on here one night. And so from the one night, this is where we're at. Well, he looks very comfortable. He is very comfortable. <laughs> so where do you sleep? We sleep in little balls and around Harley. If you touch him with your feet at night, it's Arr. He does, you know, he doesn't bite you, but he's just Arr. Oh, so, but remember the Arr. that's a right. warning. He he tees on us like a little baby, so he doesn't he doesn't bite hard. I don't know if he's got a mean bone in his body. He's gonna I do. <laughs> what? You think right. That's... <laughs> Excuse me? What do you think that was? And and that's what he is. He, he's, you know, it's like a big joke to him. Oh, uh, uh, he's not uh, gonna hurt uh. you. That was vicious. Okay, Rick, do you think he would bite? <laughs> I, I gotta say no. <gasps> Rick doesn't think that his dog's behavior is that serious. Jody does. Um, I, I think Rick is a little blind, and I think he needs to wake up. Have you asked Rick to get him out of the bed? Oh, my God, it's a fight every night. Um, can you show me how you would get him off the bed? Come on. Come on. Don't don't growl me. Come on. Come on. Come, come on. <laughs> no. You made me jump. So that didn't scare you? You didn't think he'd bite you if you didn't jump? Let's, come let's on. back, back away from him. Back away from him. Back away from him. I'm going to listen to you. All right. Yeah, because your dog just snapped at you. Right, his best buddy. His and cool the next, dog. The next level of snap is bite. We're not talking play biting here, we're talking about bite. And then you're really gonna know about it. You're really gonna know what a bite feels like. Harley's guarding the bedroom location at the moment, but I have no doubt that it's gonna translate to other areas of the house too, if they don't nip this in the bud. But despite Harley snapping, Rick thinks Jody is overreacting. Maybe she's a little bit more afraid of the dog than I am. I, I, I again, I don't, feel that he's got a, a bad bone in his body. I just can't see him really hurting anybody. I can't believe you're defending the dog and making light of this. He lunged with teeth. Oh. And Rick still just thinks he's playing. He's done it before. He growls, and he puts his mouth over your hand, and that's Rick, all he does. has he snarled and had his I lips up know. like that before? Maybe. I don't know. What do you mean, maybe? I don't know. No. No. I don't know. No. He's never had his lips up teeth showing like that. The only time he's bit harder is trying to play with him. That's the only time. He just doesn't get it. It's really weird to see them fight, because they usually, they haven't fought a lot when I was growing up or anything, I guess. But like seeing them fight over like such a stupid thing like a dog, it's just really weird. Well, that's the third time I've seen him viciously lunge at me in bed, in two days, in yeah. Two days. That's crazy, it's the only place he does it. Rick is in complete denial. I mean, what he's actually doing is enabling Harley's negative behaviors. Goodness me, if Harley suffers from really bad aggressive response and he bites somebody, that could be curtains for Harley. This is serious. I have no doubt that that dog will bite if pushed too far. He gave you a very clear warning. That's your serious opinion? Yeah. Uh, really? Really? One I, I, thousand trillion million percent. I, I, I have no doubt. He is going to bite. He will make contact with your skin. And this time it will not be play. He will mean business. Because he's never broken skin. Well, actually, your arm had broken skin. Well, he caught me once. This is serious. And if you don't want to listen to your wife, you're going to listen to me. I spent a day observing you with your dogs, and there are a lot of issues here that need addressing. And until you understand those issues, things are never going to get better. And I'm looking at you, Rick, a major enabler of negative behavior. Wow. I have to say, I have never met anybody whose instincts with dogs are so wrong. It just 
It seems to me that you're not listening. You're not listening to your family. You're not listening to your dog. Jody told you, I don't want another dog. Yes, she did. Jody, what did Apollo mean to you? Everything. How was my life? Do you feel like you ha have had enough time to mourn? No. Him? No. Rick just doesn't get it. Rick, how do you feel when you hear Jody saying that she doesn't think you understand? It's true. I look at things differently. I get past things a lot quicker. And I thought that coming into the house and everybody's so sad that if you bring another dog in, it would cheer the house back up. We need your help, big time. It's a problem. OK. This is obviously very emotional for you. Mm-hmm. Why are you feeling such emotion? Because I try to do everything I can for my family. And that's why I try to fix things. And it backfired. I can see how you just wanted everything to be OK. And you wanted your family to feel better. And you wanted Abby to feel better. I'm going to help you to improve Harley's life with you, to make him a happier dog, because I don't think he's that happy at the moment. And poor dog. His life was on a chain, mm -hmm. most likely on concrete. You got a dog that has been damaged, that has suffered, and you can't enable the suffering. You can't pander to the suffering. You have to go, OK? I'm your new family, and I'm going to help you succeed. I'm going to take you under my wing, Harley, and I'm going to show you now how people can love dogs, how you can be taken care of. Is there anything that you want to say to Jody, Rick? I, I'm sorry, because I just never felt the way that you've been feeling. And I'm sorry you're afraid, and I know how upset you are and frustrated you are. I don't know what to say. I love you. I'm sorry. The training starts now. Are you ready? I am ready. Absolutely. Yes. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.